a battle rapper. You go to all these different states in different areas and you gotta rub shoulders with a lot of different right, people. So sometimes like, like let's break it down to the to the basis of it. Like right. Outside of just even just the event, right? Yeah. You get quarrels within your relationship but over battle rap. You know what I'm saying? For like you up late nights, you, you they they wanna talk to you and they wanna be around you, but you gotta get right, you gotta practice, you gotta get your shit right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I can't I can't be dead right now like you want me to. I got a battle coming up. You know what I'm saying? It's that. It's like the time prepping. It's when it comes to the, like, even even people get mad because you don't post them. Like, I don't I don't want to post you because, like, then somebody comes at you and battle them for some type of way. You feel what I'm saying? Or, like, a lot of females done got mad at me because I'm like, I don't want you to come to a battle. You feel what I'm saying? Because they thinking it's, oh, because other bras going to be there. Females don't know. A battle rap is not a place to pick. A battle rap event is majority of the time not a place to pick up bitches, bro. Exactly. It's, yeah, it's, no, it's, it's really right. not. It's right. right. So, like, that's why I'm mad. Like, so now they try to ruin the whole vibe because they think it's about to be a bunch of bitches there. And in reality, they're about to go there and aggressively yell at somebody facing a rhyming fashion for nine <laughs> minutes. Spaced out. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? I'm not even worried. Even then, I'm not even worried about that. You think I'm worried about bitches more than I'm worried about the bag? Yeah, the money. Like, the fuck? Like, you know, females be bugged out sometimes. So it's just like that car. Like, battle rap is just like a whole different thing in itself. It's just the politics behind it is wild. Everything is wild, bro. Yeah, but that's what I meant. Like, when you go into different cities and different states, you get what I'm saying? What methods are you using to to get yourself back at home your kids and your family and your girl? To be real. Because they're not thinking about that. They're thinking about girls, but... I ain't going to lie. It's no methods I'm using because, like, most of the places I've been is, like, either the East Coast or the furthest. Like, I've been what I... Like, when I went West Coast, it was when I was playing football. Like, the furthest West I went for rap shit is, like, the Midwest, like, Ohio. You feel what I'm saying? But I got family out there, so... Most of the places I went that's too far from Connecticut, I have family there. So it never was like I'm in a place that's uncomfortable. Because mm-hmm. these are family members I link up with at least once a year, minimum. So you when you so go I, places, so you when I go those places and I hate that family member, that's a family member I just saw probably a few months ago at the family reunion. Yeah. You feel me? Like I see these family members at least once a year, so no matter where I go, I'm not uncomfortable. Because you're with somebody with And then nine times out of ten, within the last five, six years, we probably had a family reunion. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like I'm not, I'm not tripping on that. Like I'm not, I'm never tripping. Like people be thinking I go places dolo. I really don't be dolo. I tell you no lie. <laughs> It'd be like my friends don't know people that sit in the background with me, but this people is. So nobody knows who those people are. You know what I'm saying I'll be chilling. 